Good afternoon, Valparaiso. I'm VUTV's Lizzie Nosek with your weather for today and the coming week. As we can see from our live look, it is a beautiful, clear, sunny day, a nice fall day to start off October that's starting this weekend. As we can see, we have a little bit of fall foliage and some colors starting to drip in there, which is very exciting for you fall lovers out there who are ready for the fall colors. Tonight we will be having a very clear evening, beautiful clear skies, so take a look for some stars if you're interested in that. It is going to be a sunny Friday and we have a beautiful dry stretch heading our way as there's no rain predicted for the next week. Our current temperatures tell us that we're sitting around 66 degrees, which is very nice and warm. Off to our west, they're dropping a little lower, around 63, 65, but not too much of a difference. And then off to our east, it is slightly cooler, sitting around 58, 60 degrees. Our future temperatures tell us that it's going to drop dramatically into the night. Uh, tonight's going to be around 41 as we go back into the early morning. Uh, for the next day, we will be warming up and then dropping dramatically again down to 45 as we go into Saturday morning very nice and early. By Sunday around 5 p.m., we will be at 63 degrees, which is nice and warm again. And uh, like I had said before, it's going to be sunny, so definitely take advantage of that and go outside and do some nice beginning of fall activities. I know personally I'm going to the apple orchard this weekend. Uh, temperatures nationally. Off to our west, we can see that it is quite warm out west. There's some ridging motion that's giving us a lot of heat out in uh, Colorado, you know, Montana, etc. We currently are around 63 degrees, which ironically enough is the coolest temperature on this map. Out east, they are still pushing up around 71 degrees, and then down in Miami, we can see that it is sitting around 85 degrees considering Hurricane Ian just passed through the area. For our future radar, we don't really have any cloud coverage coming our way. There's some that develops, as you can see, around our area, but it doesn't really push into the Valparaiso region. That was so satisfying to just see all those clouds just pass us and not go over us. As we can see, there's a little bit of cloud coverage that comes in around Sunday, but it doesn't sit with us for too long. I added this radar because Hurricane Ian made landfall last night and has left some sad, devastating things in Florida as it passed over. The storm dropped down to a top, tropical storm ranking as it made landfall last night, but will be making its way up to a Category 1 hurricane strength over the next day as it hits North Carolina and South Carolina. We can see it move and bash into the shore, which please be prepared. Listen, if you are traveling down south or have family down south, please make sure that they or you are listening to the local weather offices and making sure that you are getting all the up-to-date information on warnings for how to stay safe in the wake of this storm. As it moves north throughout the weekend, we can see it start to dissipate as it gets into colder waters up along the northeastern coast. Tonight we are going to be experiencing some 48 degree weather, so if you plan to be out and about on campus, Definitely make sure you have a jacket or a sweatshirt handy. Tomorrow we are up around 68 degrees again, so you can get another short sleeve shirt out again if you are interested in that. You know, I, I'm, I'm, personally, I love the warm weather, so I will definitely be getting a short sleeve shirt, but I am a little ready for the long sleeve weather, you know what I mean? However, as we get into next week, we will be in the upper 60s for most of the week, nice and sunny. So like I said before, please take advantage of fall activities or going outside and experiencing the warmth before it gets really cool and cold as we move into November. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we start to get some of our cloud coverage back. We peak in temperatures on Wednesday and then drop dramatically back down to 57 on Thursday. So definitely stay tuned for the weather throughout the week, but be informed.